Hello, kindergartners, and welcome to another fun week of math with Miss Ronigan. I am so excited for us to continue to learn even more about numbers. Today, we're going to start by practicing these two signs right over here. This first sign is equals. Let's say it together equals. Whenever we see this sign, we know that those two numbers or those two groups show the same amount. So this one is the sign that means equals. This next sign has a line through the equal sign. So that means that it does not equal. So if we use this sign, we would show that two groups or two numbers or two things are not the same. They do not have the same amount. So let's try some numbers together. First, I want you to tell me what this number is. <gasps> If you said seven, you are right. This is the number seven. You can either follow along in your brain or pause the video and grab a whiteboard. First, we are going to represent the number seven with circles. I want you to count or draw seven circles on your whiteboard or in your brain. I'm going to do it with you too. There are so many different ways to make seven that you do not have to do it the same way I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I have a group which means a bunch right here of seven yellow dots. I have the number seven up on top. Do these numbers and the dots equal? They do. So would I use this sign with a line? No, that means they do not equal because there's a line in between. Would I use this sign with the two lines straight across? I sure would. I know that seven dots over here equals the number seven. All right, let's try another one. Erase your board or erase your brain. Next, I'm going to use this number. What is this number? Eight. Okie dokie. Let's make eight dots all together. Remember, there's so many different ways to make the number eight that I want you to be creative. All right, this is the way that I made eight dots. Did you make it like this? Show me with your thumbs. Thumbs up if you made it this way. Thumbs down if you made it a different way. Great, so I have the number eight. Let's count our dots together. One, two, three, four, five. I know that there's a five group on top, so let's add on, put five in your brain. So you have five and let's keep counting. Six, seven, eight. I have eight dots and I have the number eight. Show me with your body. Do you have two lines across or are your arms straight across for the equal sign? Do the number eight and the dots eight equal each other? Or do you have your arm going straight up and down like this do, does not equal sign? Ooh, show me with your body. You're right, it's the equal sign. So the number eight equals all of these eight dots. Awesome job. Now I'm going to show you some dots and I want you to count them in your brain and show me with your body. Do they equal? So do you have two arms that are straight across or does it does not equal, which means you have an arm that goes straight sideways. All right, count all the dots and show me with your body. What sign should I use? Ooh, I see a lot of this sign, the equal sign. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Let's count to see if we're right. Both of these groups of dots look different, but I wonder if they are the same amount. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, 
five. <gasps> All right, so I know that there are five dots over here. Let's count this other side. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> I see five dots again. Now is the number five and five, does that equal? It sure does. Wow, wonderful job. This is the equal sign. All right, let's try it again. Get ready to make this sign with your body after you count the dots. I have, whoa, this huge group of dots over here. And then I have this group, huge group of dots over here. These group of dots look so different, but I wonder, are they going to equal? or not equal, count the dots and make the sign with your body. Great job, I love seeing all those fingers touching and counting. I see a lot of arms that are straight across, which means that they equal. Awesome, let's count together to double check. We're gonna count nice and speedy, so get your finger ready so we can touch and count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> okay, over here, we see eight dots. Now, let's count the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> wow, I also see eight. Dots, do the number eight and the number eight equal? They sure do, awesome job. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. I'm gonna make a couple changes. I want you to open your eyes when I say bananas and I want you to count one more time to see if these dots equal or do not equal. Okay, hope your eyes are closed. All right, bananas. Open your eyes, count the dots, and show me with your body. Do you have two arms that are straight across because they equal, or an arm that is straight up and down like this because they do not equal? Ooh, I love how fast you're counting today. I see a lot of arms that are straight sideways, which means they do not equal. But it is always good to double check. So go back and check again to see if we're right. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see ten dots. Did you count ten dots with me? Awesome job. A 10 is a one and a zero. Now let's count the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we see nine yellow dots over here. Do the numbers 10 and nine equal? Are they the same? No, they're not. We are right, they do not equal. They are not the same number, but what if I added one more dot to the number nine? What is one more than nine? Say it out loud to me. You're right, it is 10. So if I added one more, I would get the number 10. And do the number 10 and the number 10, do those equal? They do, those are the same numbers. So we can move back that equal sign. Great job today using the equal sign or the does not equal sign. So today in your math workbook page, first thing we do is always the same. Pick up a pencil and write your name. My name is Miss Ron again. So I'm gonna write Miss R. <gasps> then you are going to need a blue crayon and a red crayon. Oh, but first, you're also gonna need a pencil. It says use a pencil or marker. So if you have a blue or red marker, you can use that too. And trace each number two times. Use the color blue to trace the sixes and the color red to trace the sevens. So first, we're gonna trace the number six in what color? Blue. And how many colors are we going to trace it? Or how many times? two times each. So I'm gonna grab my blue. I'm gonna look for the number six. Is this the number six? No, is this the number six? Yes, so I'm gonna trace it two times. Count with me, whoa, one, two. 
yikes, I'm going to try that again because I want to do my best and try to stay right on the line. All right, let's try it again together. Count with me. One. Oh, that's so much better because I'm really taking my time. Two. Okay, I traced it two times. Then I'm going to look for another number six. Is this the number six? No. Is this the number six? Yes. Okay, help me trace it two times. One. Start back up at the top. Two. Awesome. You're going to trace every single number six in the color blue. Great. When you're done with the number six, you need the number seven. What color are we going to trace the number seven? You're right. It's a red. You're going to find my red. Is it the number seven? No. Is this the number seven? Yes. I'm going to start at the top. Straight line across. Straight line down. Traced it one time. I need to do it again. Straight line across. Straight line down. Awesome job. Next, I'm going to find another number seven. Is this the number seven? No. Is this the number seven? Yes. I'm going to trace it again. Straight line across. Straight line down. Pick up your finger. Straight line across. Straight line down. Wonderful job. You're going to do that for every single number. Trace it twice, and then we get to go down to the bottom. Every time we write our numbers, I want you to grab that pencil, so make sure you have it ready. It says, write the numbers one through seven in order. Ooh, I love seeing you write your numbers in order. So here it has a start at the number one. So that's the first number we write. What comes after the number one? You write the number two. <gasps> Make sure your numbers aren't backwards. What comes after the number two? You are right. it's the number three. Then I want you to finish it all by yourself, writing all the way up to the number seven. Make sure you're going in order and your numbers aren't backwards. When you're all done with this side, I want you to flip it over. Oh boy, it's our friend Puzzle Penguin, and he looks so confused. I bet he needs our help. Today it says, help Puzzle Penguin. Did Puzzle Penguin make a mistake? Look at the numbers below. Oh, and he is wondering in his brain, did I make a mistake? Guess what, friends? Mistakes are okay, and we are here to help him. I see that he has his numbers. Let's count his numbers together. Four, three, six. Seven, five. Hmm, think in your brain. Show me with your thumbs. Yes, thumbs up, he made a mistake. Or thumbs down, no, he didn't make a mistake. How did Puzzle Penguin do in writing his numbers? Oh, I see those thumbs that show me that yes, he did make a mistake. Mistakes are okay. Hmm, so first we see the number four. If we're counting up, what number comes after the number four? It would be five. Is this the number five? No, the number five looks like this one. So let's make an X and cross it off. Then after the number five comes what number? You're right, the number six. Is this the number six? You got it, it sure is. After the number six comes what number? The number seven. Is this the number seven? It is. After the number seven comes what number? Ooh, the number eight. Is this the number eight? No, the number eight looks like oh, this. So I'm going to put in X and cross it off. Make sure you do this too so you can help Puzzle Penguin count in order. Then it says write the numbers three through seven in order. Oh boy, we have to start at what number? Three. So let's write the number three. Around the tree, around the tree, that makes a three. What number comes after the number three? You're right, it's the number four. Make an L, straight line down. I want you to keep writing your numbers up until which number? Seven, straight line across, straight line down. Can't wait to see your numbers. Then it says write the number zero through seven in order. Here we have to start at that number zero all the way around. And then I want you to count and write all of those numbers all the way up to which number? Seven, straight line across, straight line down. Make sure when you write your numbers, none of them are backwards. At the very end, it says check for understanding, which means I want you to really listen to these directions right now. It says draw a group of 
seven objects. An object can be whatever you want to draw, but how many do you need to draw? Seven. Awesome. Can't wait to see your great work. When you're all done, don't forget to do that seesaw activity. See you tomorrow.